you can watch all that and welcome our next guest. She stars in a brand new, very intense thriller called A Quiet Place. Emily Blunt joins us now. Give her a big cheer. In your I'm new like movie, sliding all, around <laughs> all, over the place. all these cheers would get them in a lot of trouble in your new movie. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean it's painful living silently, right? Mm -hmm. This kind of, it's so intense. But I have to ask you about something else at the start. I hear you have a very odd phobia. I have many, so I don't really know which one. Is it the Disneyland? It is the Disneyland, since we are owned by Disney, so be careful. <laughs> I, I'm pretty much owned by Disney at this point. Um, I, well, as a child, I was terrified of most things. Santa Claus, Disneyland, like the depths of hell for me. Wow. Um, well, because who's in the suits? I want to know who's in those suits. I don't like clowns either, well, I don't like clowns. I, like, I don't need to see it. That's not something I ever need to see. I don't need it in the memory bank. Yeah. <laughs> good, good point. point. So your husband, actually, mm, yeah. John Kronkowski, who everybody... Mm, oh, that is you. Kronkowski? Maybe he wants to be Rob Gronkowski. He's, he's right? Gronk and Krasinski. Right? Yeah. Gronk. John Krasinski is in the movie with you. Does he yes. scare easily, too? He does, actually. I mean, he startles quite easily, you know. But I, but I like to kind of scare is him sometimes. Is it scary sometimes. in a scary movie? I mean, I wouldn't say it's scary doing it because you're sort of using all your energy to portray fear as opposed to actually yeah. sort of right. feel it. And this is the first time that you all have really worked together and I understand that you actually wanted a friend at first to play your role. I did. I mean, that was before I read the script right. and um, I just had our second baby and I was about to do Mary Poppins and so I wasn't really mm. in the mindset of doing another film. and. He pitched me the idea and I said, you know who'd be great for that is so-and-so. And then I read the script and I was like, you need to fire her. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, because John's directing. Yes. yes. So how is it having yes. hubby as boss man? Oh, I'm always the boss. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, you say you're um, joking. You're not really joking. <laughs> yeah, no, not really. Um, he was a fantastic boss, I have to say, because very collaborative, really exciting. I mean, I was sort of blown away by him. Oh, really. that's oh. awesome. Yeah, yeah. But it is something when an actor is a director, they bring a different perspective. In they that do, role. and yeah. he knows when to step back mm -hmm. and just give you that space and not sort of over orchestrate things. You know, he was really, really awesome yeah. to work with. You guys ready to see some of it? Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> Children are spectacular. They're amazing, in this film. aren't they? They I are. I know. We lucked out. We really did. They're such deep souls. They're mm. awesome. Yeah, they are. Isn't it funny watching the clip? How we were all like, <laughs> well, the silence makes it that much more intense. Yes. It's also the only pleasant scene in the film, so it's nice that they're showing <laughs> television. In the it is morning television. You know, it's really pleasant that you and your husband are. Um, a part of a very great cause. Yeah. People can auction to go on a date with you guys. I think they've just found the winner, actually. Oh, they did? They yes. did. And it was for the Malala Fund? It was for the Malala Fund, great. who John and I are working with. And we have two daughters. We believe in education for women around mm -hmm. the world. So I am a huge, yeah. Big day for Malala today, her return to Pakistan. She's doing set? We covered it. It was oh, her return did? to Pakistan oh, today. That's awesome. First that's time so since. cool. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. So, can you take us back to, to, the, to the beginning with John? What was your first date like? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I heard it was a really good story. We met at a restaurant, and I was there with a mutual friend of ours, and it was one of those. You know, it was, it wasn't, it's not even a great story, but she was like, oh my God, there's my friend John. And then, like, <laughs> he came over. And that's your character. Luckily, Quiet Place is a silent movie, and I'm not really speaking in it. Um, uh, yeah, so she brought him over, and um, 
The rest is history. The rest is history. And two young daughters. <laughs> two. Are your two daughters excited to see mommy as Mary Poppins? It's funny because I think it would be exciting for all of their friends, but I think it's a disconcerting thing for your own kid to see you as somebody else. That's at that age. Yeah, and like my oldest one has seen one film I was in, or a clip of it before she melted down, and she was like, I don't want to see you in the movie! <laughs> like, she like, didn't want to see it at all. So, also... You were just my mom. Yeah, also, they're like creep fans of Julie Andrews, so they'll probably uh, just reject my version of Mary Poppins uh, altogether, you know. Well, you are an absolute delight. Oh! Absolute delight. And, um, this movie, oh, her wheelhouse, it. she loves yeah, it. Yeah, I love horror movies. Yeah, she does. So good. And A Quiet Place hits theaters next Friday, April 6th. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.